In this video, I'd like to demonstrate the impact that dirty areas play when working with network trace functionality. We will be performing an upstream trace to the subnetwork controller to display expected behavior when no dirty areas or barriers exist. I'll then update the phases normal network attribute to de-energize a line and create a dirty area. We will use this to demonstrate the impact of validating the network topology and of using the validate consistency option with traces by performing an upstream trace using a filter barrier with dirty areas and validate consistency disabled, performing the same upstream trace with the validate consistency option enabled, and finally validating the network topology so that no dirty areas exist and rerunning the upstream trace a third time with the filter barrier in place. Here we are working with the Naperville dataset, and I'm going to use an upstream trace to trace back to the subnetwork controller. Using the trace locations pane, I'm going to place a starting point on this low voltage conductor and perform a basic upstream trace on the electric distribution tier. Notice the validate consistency option is enabled. This is the default, and we're going to leave that checked for now. Now that the trace is completed, we can see that the trace stopped at the boundary for the tier, the south side substation. I'm now going to de-energize a line near our starting point. I'm going to update phases normal to indicate that this section of line has been de-energized. Phases normal is a network attribute and will create a dirty area on the line indicating that my network topology is inconsistent with the edit that I've made. As I re-execute this same upstream trace, I'm going to create a filter barrier to indicate that my trace should stop if it encounters any de-energized lines. I'm also going to uncheck the validate consistency option. Just as before, I am able to trace upstream back to the subnetwork controller without any indication that I'm tracing through a de-energized line or that dirty areas are present. If I rerun the same trace with the validate consistency option checked, I'm presented with a failure. Viewing the details, I can see that dirty areas were discovered along my trace route. In this example, it's evident. However, when conducting a trace across a large subnetwork, this may not be so easily identified. To address this, I'll validate the current extent and then save my edits. I'll then run this trace with the same filter barrier and with the validate consistency option enabled. In this example, the filter barrier is honored since the network topology has been updated and no dirty areas exist. In summary, you can see how the existence of dirty areas provides a visible marker that the network topology is inconsistent with edits that have been made to either network attributes, geometry, terminal configuration information, or simply due to the creation of error features. When performing traces in areas where edits have recently occurred, the network topology must be updated using Validate Network Topology to ensure that accurate trace results are returned. In this example, the existence of dirty areas and the cause of the trace results we were seeing was evident. However, when conducting a trace across a large subnetwork, it may not be so easily identified. The Validate Consistency option is a useful tool to provide a warning in such cases where there are unseen dirty areas which may warrant further review. Mm -hmm.